Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, I thought in this video it would be uh, pretty cool to go through all of my Yaoi collection. Um, and Yaoi's, if you're not familiar, you might be familiar with them now, but they were a little, like a kinder surprise. So, you get like a chocolate Yaoi, um, and you get a little um, egg thing inside where you build an animal, and it'll have like a piece of paper that will have a photo of the animal, and it will tell you like a little description about it and stuff like that. So, it started off with mainly um, Australian animals, and then they started broadening their animal thing. So, Naturally, as a person that liked animals, I was um, pretty obsessed with them when I was a kid. There was a yaoi shop here in uh, Melbourne that was in um, just off Chapel Street in Paran. I used to go there all the time. Uh, I used to love going there and having a look at all the yaois and buying some. You could also get some pretty cheap yaoi collections at toy fairs that we used to go to as well. So that was really fun to do. Um, so I thought I'd go through my collection. Um, the Yaois that are released now, um, they were originally owned by Cadbury, but then someone else, some other company bought them. So they're not as good um, anymore. So they're a solid piece now and they're just not very nice quality. These ones were you would build them. So I know in the States that um, cho chocolates that you, the Kinder Surprise are banned because you have to build the pieces and they're small and a choking hazard. but. Um, yeah, yellow Australia, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, when, I'll go through the collection that I have. I have it in this weird box. Um, but, uh, when I like something, um, I go above and beyond organizing and documenting and, um, doing all sorts of weird things <laughs> when I was a kid. So, um, yeah, always came out in the 90s, so I was only... Uh, I don't know exactly what year they came out, but it's probably like six to ten, I guess. So I made this checklist, <laughs> um, and yeah, we list. So what I did was um, I made a little list of um, the series and the animals that were in the series, and I could check them off to see which one I had. And I picked my favorite Yowie out, and I'll draw it on a piece of paper. Uh, so that was uh, the first series, then we had series two, <laughs> so I drew an eel, uh, and then we had series series three, and I drew a snake, um, and then series four, obviously the tiger was released really series four, so I drew the tiger. <laughs> And then, what is this? And it's a release order thing. Uh, so yeah, that's my little yaoi booklet <laughs> that I made when I was a kid. Um, so they're all sort of just put in the box, but the ones that were special, I put them in little bags. Um, and with the uh, little slips, so the slips that I put them all in here, and I put the, uh, the tiger at the front. <laughs> Because I like the tiger the best, obviously. Um, so let's just pull out one. So we've got a Wiggles toad. So you'd normally come in a little egg. I don't think I've got any eggs in here. But it would normally come in a little egg. And it'll come with this little slip that will have a photo of the animal. Um, and then... You get a Yowie token, so you collect these tokens and then you can um, send them in for a magazine. Uh, it has obviously the warnings, it has the build instructions, and then it has a little bit of information about the animal, um, scientific name and whatnot. Uh, so that's basically a little rundown of what um, what comes in the egg, and then you get your Yowie to obviously. Um, Unbox. So yeah, all my slips are in here, uh, of course. So starting off with my favourite one, I put them all in a bag. So these are all sort of, um, they were all a little, little bit different. So sometimes they had variations that were mistakes um, or variants that were rare. So 
um, sometimes you'd get one that's an off color or something like that. So they were really rare or, um, you know, something that has a paint defect. So these were all my Sumatran Tiger ones. I'll pull one out. So basically they come in pieces and you just build them and then they can move around and stuff. Uh, so the head moves around. Um, so that was my little tiger. Little tiger one. Alright. So, let's put him safely back in there. Uh, Alright. And then you could also get uh, solids. So, you could get... Um, Obviously the Yowies, or the solid Yowies, so this one's Nap, I think there was five of them, I think. And then you could get uh, the toxic ones that were bad for the environment, so this one's called Blob. Um, and they're also pencil toppers, so you can put them on the ends of your pencils. Uh, and then the the Yowie guard, which is called Balthazar, um, he came in a, a thing that you put together. So that was the Yowie guard, Balthazar. Um, and then you could also get these uh, crystals in some of the eggs. So usually when you get a solid piece, you can, in the shops, you could pick up your yaoi and shake it around and you could, you could hear that it was a solid, um, a solid piece. So they were the rare ones. So these little crystals, I don't know how well you can see, but the crystals have, um, the character. Uh, so this one's Kong. Kong what? Boof. So this one's got boof in it. And you can't really see it that well, but again, there was all five of them. Um, and that was a special... A special thing, and you get 20 tokens with these ones. Um, so of course, naturally, the crystals were all individually packaged. Um, because now it's basil. Um, got another one. Crystal. There we have. I like this one. For the crag. I like the crag, which was the green the green one. Crystal. I had heaps of crystals. It's crag again. Uh it's buff again. Squish. I like squish too because it was a platypus. It was the platypus one. Uh, crag again but you get the point there was crystals right all right so anything that I uh, was easily broken I put into bags as well because I didn't want to lose the piece so this is a little butterfly put in bags my tiger these ones as well were really easily this is a ruby eyed lace wing um, and these ones were easily broken as well. I also put the variants in um, in the bag, so things with different paint colour. So, for example, the variants, this is a really obvious variant, uh, which were the koalas. So you could get, that was, that was the variant of the koala, it's brown, and this was the original um, grey, which is kind of an off colour now, but you can see the two different variants that were um, that were available, so they were the rare ones. Um, let's put that back in. Uh, what else? This one was also easily broken. Another crystal. I had 20 fog mouths. Uh, they all had different paint colours on them, so I put them all in there. Uh, yellow footed, footed rock wallaby that was another one that was easily broken that one and you could also get um, this was a, uh, like in series 4 I think it was you could get the characters that you can actually build um, so that came along later uh, this is another uh, example of a variant uh, I don't know where mine came from but it was quite a rare variant so we've got a little sugar glider I think it was um, a little sugar glider with grey colouring and then we had one with pink colouring so you can see the difference of variants there so um, 
yeah, extra special little ones. So yeah, you can see there, two little color variants. I'm not sure where I got that pink one from, um, but it's definitely a mistake. <laughs> so another crystal, got some toads, uh, corroboree frogs as well. Crystals, toads. Another buildable yaois. Um, just. Uh, we've got a flower spider who I thought had variants as well. Uh, Lima, ring tailed Lima. Uh, little num numbat. Um, scorpions. Yeah. And then at uh, Christmas time, they released a set of Christmas style yaoi's that you can hang on your tree. So they all had little Christmas hats. So that was a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, I've got Eastern Grey Kangaroo, um, Horned Owl, uh, what, not a Horned Owl, but an Owl, um, and things like Port Jackson Sharks, they were really cool, that was one of my favourite ones. <clears throat> We've got the Sea Turtle, that was also pretty cool. We've got a Quoll. That was pretty cool. Um, I had one that's fallen apart. So this is a little gecko that I drew. So as you can see, it comes in pieces. And then um, you basically put it together like that. And then all of the pieces clip in like that. So they can move as well. Like that. Uh, I've got a porpoise. We have a, a death adder, that was also one of my favourites. So the head moves, obviously. Got the cat he did. That was a pretty cool one. Uh, also, the uh, a bat. This one was pretty cool. Some of them have the name of the actual creature on it, but some of them don't. Um, so that was a really cool one. I think this was a later series one. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty cool one. Got Phoenix Fox. Phoenix Fox. That's really cute. Spoonbill. Spoonbill is a really interesting creature if you don't know what it is. Uh, it's got a really long bill with, that looks like a spoon. Um, got a blue swimmer crab. So this one has the name on the underbelly. So this was a really early on one. Um, We've got another Christmas one, Squish, Tasmanian Devil, I think this one came in a colour variant but I don't have it either, um, which was, I can't remember the colour of it, uh, we've got a nudie branch, so that's always a really cool looking critter, with dots on it, a galah, so it'd be really cool to make a galah with one of my art dolls. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Got a platypus, of course. We've got a funnel web spider as well. Uh, got a black swan. That was pretty cool. Little hermit crab. Uh, echidnas. Got a monitor. This is a really, I always like this one as well. That was one of my favourite ones. We got a, 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 a just a sulfur crested cockatoo. Got a wetter. Uh, trying to find some, pick some cool ones out of here. Uh, what are they, a crowned pigeon. That was a pretty cool one. Um, Oh, uh, the little little skink. That was one of my favourites as well. I used to love picking up lizards and stuff when I was a kid. Uh, little sugar glider. Uh, cassowary. Everyone loves cassowary. I want to make a cassowary doll uh, very soon, so 
Yes, that would be good. Um, but dolphins, we've got a little angler fish. Um, someone's lost a leg here. I'm sure it'll be around somewhere. And we also just have a, a head. Uh, I've got a centipede. That was a little bit of a colour variation that we had there. Manta ray. Um, got a Kia. That was pretty cool. Got another bat. Um, sea cucumber. I always thought that was really, really cool one. Sea cucumber. Uh, I've got a Queensland lungfish. That's how I've... Um, a lot of animals that I know are because of Yowies. Because I was so obsessed with them that I'd read everything there was to do with what animal was what. And everything. Gecko. I've got a cricket. Um, an eel that's lost the tail. Got some casualties here. Alright. So, stick his face back on. Alright, we've got the moray eel with the tail back. There we go. And his mouth would open. Uh, I think this was meant to be a badger. It's a bit of an odd looking critter. Sponge crab. <laughs> um, got a giant clam. That was a pretty cool one. Uh, another type of nudie branch. So we've got a nice colourful version. So um, it's really cool that they've included these types of animals, animals in their collections as well. Um, Southern bell frog. Great white shark. That was one of my first ones that I got, was my great white shark. Um, this is a bandy bandy. Um, and this was one of my very first ones as well. But it was white when I first got it. Um, and But now it's really yellow. So that's a bandy bandy. If you don't know what it is, it's a black and white snake. <laughs> uh, right, so... That's sort of what they would come in these little types of things, but I think this is from uh, later. So you'd open it up like that and you'd get a crystal. So there's a crystal in there. You can close it back up. Minky whale. Uh, got a sea, leafy sea dragon. Sawfish. Oh, uh, yeah. So this was another one of the. Um, Toxic people, chomp, toxic things, chomp. So that was another bad guy. Bad guy. Fix this one. Little yabby. I got heaps of Balthazars. Little Primantis. Uh, what else have we got? Got a penguin. I think this was a, a deli penguin or something. Um, got an Australian bush turkey. So that's them. Can't find uh, the rest of this one though. Be around somewhere. Uh, so we got a, a salty saltwater crocodile. Um. This is another one called Slob of a bad guy. Slob. Naturally. And another dolphin. But I think this is a bottlenose. Just says dolphin. Tuna. Mantis shrimp. Um. Someone's headless. Got a red tailed black cockatoo. Um, leopard shark. Uh, this is another another bad guy, Spark. So, starts fires. No good. Um, Ditty was a good guy. I think he was quite hard to get, Ditty. 
Oh, there's an actual Yowie. Uh, Rumble. Got a Mole. Um, just trying to pick out some cool ones here. Got a little Cockatiel. There's another bad guy, Ooze. Obviously a toxic drum. Um, a little Snike. Got the name of this one. Western Black Stripe Snake. Uh, it's a Bowerbird, I think this one is. Um, green Tree Frog. With a shitty painting underneath. <laughs> uh, Port Jackson Shark. I don't know if I showed that one before. Major Mitchell Cock Cockatoo. Infamous magpie. Uh, got starfish. Got starfish. There's a cicada in there, but it's um, seen better days. I uh, got a cowfish. Kingfisher. Kingfisher and a clownfish as well. So, yeah, a lot of Australian animals. Um, they did start going into a prehistoric. Uh, way but I sort of grew out of it when they started the press and I don't think it really took off either got a bilby um, got to have the dingo a dingo uh, so yeah I'll pro probably that that's, sums it up we've got obviously the hairy nose wombat as well um, and yeah so that's pretty much some highlights of uh, what's in the Yowie collection. Um, if anyone collected Yowies themselves, let me know because I know it's only in a, uh, it was an Australian thing with mostly Australian animals. Uh, or if you have any other collections that you um, you collected, or if you collect Yowies now, what are they like now? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope you like seeing my um, my yaois and just a little bit of a different um, type of video, type of collection as well. Um, so yeah, thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I do really appreciate it. Um, it's very helpful, especially right now, given the um, what's going on in the world. Um, yeah, so, yeah, if you want to support me, uh, it's in the description box down below. Hopefully I can use some of these yaois to uh, give me some inspiration for some new dolls. Um, and, yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Nat and uh, my shop at CreaturesofNat.com. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.